Enriching the lives of humankind. Uniting the fishermen of the world. As the mutual prosperity of worldwide fisheries begin, the ICFO now leads the way. The 21st century, a new age of the oceans. As the oceans and fisheries become more and more important, the ICFO embarks on a new voyage towards the development of fisheries and fisheries cooperatives. Spreading the principles and spirit of cooperatives around the world, protecting member interests, and promoting sustainable development. The ICFO is a sectoral organization of the ICA. After its establishment in 1966 as a subcommittee of the ICA Agricultural Committee, the ICFO was upgraded to an independent organization in 1979. Since joining the ICA in 1979, exchanging information for the development of fisheries cooperatives through various symposiums, seminars, and regular meetings, the ICFO and its members in alliance have taken collaborative actions on major issues regarding fisheries, including the WTO and FTA. Mr. Pierre Lucor, President of Confederation de la Cooperation de la Mutual Light Edu Credit Maritimes France, is the first chairman. Mr. Jiro Zeman Saito, Director of National Federation of Fisheries Cooperative Associations of Japan, President Shoji Uemura, and President had chaired the ICFO. From 1976 to 2009, the National Federation of Fisheries Cooperative Associations of Japan, as chair of the ICFO, provided constant support with the assistance of the Japanese government to vitalize fisheries cooperatives around the world. Through a seminar on fisheries cooperatives of Southeast Asian countries, training project for promotion of community based fishery resource management by small scale fishers in Asia, striving to strengthen the competitiveness of fisheries. <music> Efforts to restore the oceans for fishermen around the world. The KNFC and the ICFO are on target, working together. In November 2009, Mr. Lee c h o n g k u president of the KNFC, was elected chairman of the ICFO. And KNFC is also making efforts to develop fisheries cooperatives and fisheries around the world and to create a new model for future development. For the 15 organizations from 13 nations, such as Korea, Japan, Indonesia, France, Canada, and Vietnam, to grow together and for the ICFO to be operated efficiently. By providing human and financial resources, the ICFO is revitalizing fisheries cooperatives around the world. A refreshing new idea for fisheries and fisheries cooperatives around the world. To improve the exchange and accessibility of fisheries information among its members, the ICFO opened its own official websites. At the International Symposium, co hosted by the KNFC and the ICFO, through the sole declaration, a pledge to preserve and protect fisheries resources was adopted, opening up an age of sustainable fisheries in the 21st century. In particular, for the development of fisheries and cooperatives around the world, June 16th, the sole declaration day, was declared World Fisheries Cooperative Day. Furthermore, by publishing world fisheries to share significant fisheries information from 17 nations, providing member nations with equipment to obtain fisheries informatization and to improve operational efficiency, and fishing equipment to assist underdeveloped fisheries and fisheries cooperatives, and by publishing other newsletters and brochures, the ICFO has opened up a place to share information among its members around the world. The ICFO's efforts for world peace and harmony, including relief activities for disasters such as the catastrophic tsunamis that hit Southeast Asia in 2004 and Japan in March 2011. The ICFO is supporting fishermen who lost their livelihoods from disasters and accidents, actively embodying the spirit of cooperation among cooperatives, the core principle of cooperatives. Building on its achievements, the ICFO leads the way to a new future. 
protecting our priceless oceans upon which life, sharing, and hope dwell. A vigorous voyage towards the ceaseless development of fisheries around the world. There have been many challenges along the journey. In 2008, due to the unprecedented global financial crisis, many companies went out of business. However, many cooperative enterprises held steady growth, attracting attention as an alternative model of economic growth. Reinforcing the strength of cooperatives even more, the ICFO will take initiatives for improving the economic status of the world's fishermen and promoting continuous growth and making proactive efforts for the sustainable development of fisheries facing challenges from diminished resources and climate change. Focusing on case studies of nations with active cooperatives, such as Korea and Japan, the ICFO will actively implement a knowledge-sharing program regarding consignment sales, the fisheries fund system, and exchanges between cities and fishing villages through cooperatives for the mutual growth of cooperatives and their members around the world. Dreaming towards the mutual prosperity of fishermen around the world. Fisheries cooperatives will build a brighter future day by day. The future of fisheries and fisheries cooperatives around the world is built upon the bountiful oceans. Now, the ICFO will build it together, full of hopes and dreams.